create another SDL. And this is something where we can cast a metal cube instead of having to purchase one because I have a bunch of aluminum I can recycle. So let's go create new document. CNC, let's create this document. Top view, go over to sketch, sketch right. top corner, rectangle tool. And let's click on that center point. Let's go out here. So this is in inches. Real quick, I want to go over here, change my workplace units to millimeters. Okay, I'll accept that. Sketch back up. I accidentally closed it out. Go to our dimension tool, click on this one. Let's go 50 here. And then 50 here. Hit enter. All right, now we can close that out. Now let's go extrude. Sketch one. It's going to be new. We want to extrude that out to be 100. Close that out and let's go to isometric view. There's our cube. Let's rename it. Now we're going to go right click. Let's go export. We're going to change that to SDL. Let's go ahead and export. All right, good. Bamboo Studio. Let's close that out. Let's go file. Let's go create new project. Got our printer connected. Let's go file import. There's our cube. Let's place it on there. Don't really care which way it goes. Um, but if we wanted to switch our orientation, we could go lay on face there. Let's go preview. Uh, before we do that, let's go file, save project as front plate. We've got PLA and our A1. I'm going to go ahead and send this. It's going to take a little bit because my Wi-Fi signal is kind of weak. It looks like it's going to take about an hour. So I've made a video before on how to generate a statue from an image. And if you want to see how that's done, you can watch some of my other videos. But we're going to go ahead and confirm this one. This one looks the closest. Confirm that we want that one. So let's go ahead and download. Let's download the SDL. And I'll go ahead and download the 3MF. Let's open this back up and see where it's stuck at. All right, that's good. And I see that I've got a little piece of sand there that fell out because I'm moving too quick. see it come to the top. So we'll let it cool for a little bit. All right, I think we're safe now to go ahead and take that out. It should be solidified enough. Here we go, let's find out. Well, we got a, a blob in there. That's a good sign. Attached to the sprue very well. It did not, but we got our block of aluminum either way. And then these should be 50, but they're Probably not because we had to grind them down. We had some imperfections plus with cooling. It's going to have some shrinkage new project fourth axis and We've got to set our stock here Hit Okay and We're doing aluminum. That's what we're going to cast and Now we've got that so let's go ahead and bring in Import our 3d model Let's go, there's our Maker World SDL. Okay, so now we're gonna have to change the size of it. So let's go left click and then right click. Let's go rotate first and let's see what direction we wanna rotate this thing. Maybe not. X and Y, there, that's the one I want. <laughs> I don't know why I want it in that plane, but um, now we need to scale the enough cushion between the top and the bottom there. So let's go 50. That looks good. I'll go up here to create tool. Let's go create. We'll make a 3D model. And we want this to be a 
next cylinder. And let's make one there. And let's make another one here. All right, good. And now we can go and close that out. Let's go to our transform. Let's go move from this. And let's go click align. And then we can bring it back out. Left click on that one, let's go click align. And we'll do the same thing here. We'll bring that back out. Let's go Y zero. So that way it's lined up on the Y and Z. Look at this real quick and see if those are all aligned. Looks like they are. Uh, I'm gonna hold shift, shift. Now let's select all of those. Oops, I thought I selected it. There we go. And then let's go out and create a new 3D path, but this time a rotation relief. And then we'll go down through all the settings. Yep. We're gonna go zero on this. And then we're gonna go 35 here, just to be safe. Cause I saw another video, it should be one half, one half your diameter one is, diameter would be 50. I know we're dealing with square, but um, I'm going to go 35 because another video had similar width as mine. So I'm going to go with that. And then we'll go down and add our tool. So let's go, we're going to go 3.175 to 12 millimeter because that's what we used on the aluminum last time. So let's choose that. Hopefully it'll be long enough. I believe it will. I don't think there's anything that would be too long for it to reach. And then we'll go down to our step down and 0.2 is good for this metal. Um, this is gonna be our tool one, so I'm just gonna change that. I'm gonna go a 0.5 millimeter depth allowance so it doesn't get too deep before the finishing tool comes in. All right, so we wanna do direction horizontal because this is a roughing pass. And then we'll do vertical for the detail for the engraving. And we want to enable tail stock. And now I'm going to go ahead and save this in case it glitches out. And let's go ahead and calculate here. All right, there's our roughing pass. And so if we use the navigation cube, you can see it goes all the way around this off real quick. So now I'm going to select just the model. We're going to create a new tool path, new rotation relief, and we're going to start up here. Same parameters to delete that tool, add our new tool. So we're going to do the 0.2 by 30 degree We've got it set for aluminum. Let's choose that. We don't need step downs. We don't need a depth allowance because we want a lot of detail. And we want vertical. No, we don't need tail stock. I'm gonna go ahead and save that and then we can calculate. Calculation's done and you can see it's doing all the fine detail on the object. So we're good there. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this one back on as well. Let's go file, save one last time. All right, let's uh, left click, select both of those. Let's go right click, export. There's both of our tool paths selected. Now I'm gonna go ahead and export those. Connected here, let's go find our file, upload file. Let's go to downloads, make care of files, and this is our NC. Make sure you select the NC, not the MKC. Like I said before, it's probably best not to have these in the same folder, but I keep making the same mistake. Let's go upload that. Let's go to run our G code and let's look here. Fourth axis is set on X to 40 and see what that does. Okay, that 
gets it further out here at the end of the tool. So I think I like that. We'll keep scan margin, auto Z probe, and then we can run from here. All right, let's get this centered up as good as we can. that last little bit of the pitting left. Alright, there we've got the rough cut. Not complete yet, but getting close. Alright, we changed the tool out, so this is tool two, and now it's doing the fine engraving. That complete and vacuum this real quick. turned out pretty good. So the good news is that the pitting was back here and have just a little bit and I'll be able to polish that out. All right, there we go. Um, just a little bit of polishing. I cut off the top and the bottom, but I think next time I'm gonna make a cone at the top of the head so that I'll have less surface to cut off. But it actually turned out okay because it kind of looks like hair up there just on the way I used the sander. So I sanded the top and the bottom down. I used my polishing wheel without any polishing compound yet, but I will eventually use some polishing compound on it. But that will allow me to do brass and copper. Aluminum's pretty easy for me to cast, but brass and copper I have to get to a higher temperature. It's a little bit more dangerous.